Fraud against the taxpayers. 412 Muslims arrested in largest bust in U.S. history. The more they dig, the more they'll find. This country could run on 20 billion a year. It's the low lives from third world cultures who are, who are robbing America blind and they've embedded themselves in our government. On Thursday morning, press conference Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Secretary of Health and Human Services Tom Price announced that 412 people around the country have been charged with participating in health care uh, fraud scams, totaling about $1.3 billion in false billings, including for the prescription and distribution of opioids. People like Obama have put us in a horrible position where Muslims are taking advantage of the kindness of Americans. We have found that so many Muslims have been at the heart of welfare fraud rings. They have been caught draining the welfare system of the country that has done so much to help them. The largest scam we have ever seen, which was just busted in Michigan, drained us of $1.3 billion. As a result of the scam, 412 people were placed under arrest. In this particular scam, Muslim doctors wrote substantial amounts of prescriptions for opioids. The entire thing was a con. None of the drugs actually went to any patients. The fraudulent claims were made to insurance companies like Medicaid, and then the Muslims would pocket all of the cash. Another huge problem stemming from this scam is that the drugs would wind up on the streets, further worsening the drug problem we are facing in our country. The U.S. Justice Department has called the scheme the largest prescription drug and health care fraud scheme of its kind. The ringleader of the massive Medicare uh, scam is Muslim Mashiyat Rashid, who profited with an astounding $164 million from the fraud. He had had no qualms about robbing the American, uh, t robbing, I would assume, the American taxpayer, oh, rubbing the American taxpayers' noses in what he stole from them, frequently bragging about his large piles of cash on social media. Here's an image he posted on Facebook where he poses beside his Bentley sedan and corporate jet. I can't believe what I'm reading. All bought and paid for with the Medicare money he scammed from the American taxpayer. So let them all come in, right? There you go. And why don't they show their face? The scam involves a scheme where Muslim doctors will write massive quantities of prescriptions for opioids. These drugs never land in the hands of patients, however, as the Muslims will take them, make fraudulent claims to Medicaid, and pocket the money. Additionally, the drugs often wind uh, up in the streets as part of a huge back alley drug operation. The U.S. Justice Department is calling this prescription drug and health care fraud scheme the largest operation of its kind in American history, naming several Michigan Muslim doctors responsible for orchestrating this huge criminal enterprise to rip off the American taxpayer. And again, where is Michigan? Michigan is, uh, Dearborn, Michigan is taken over by the Muslims already. They already have like Sharia law. And Obama was uh, telling the officers to stand down and getting the whites out of the way. The whites had no, uh, they could not come into that neighborhood. More than 400 others across the country were charged last, late last week for taking part in the health care scam in connection with a raid last week at the Fisher Building in Detroit. Other Muslim defendants include Mashiyat Rashid of Oklahoma, Oakland County controlled, owned, and operated Global Quality Aquatherapy, Tri-Country Physicians, Tri-State Physicians, 
New Center Medical National Laboratories and Tri-Country Wellness. So the list goes on and on over here. It's not necessary to read it. But again, and I'm glad Jeff Sessions, he first targeted Michigan because they know that that place is flooded with them. And they, look at this. Do you have a Bentley or a private jet? I mean, I don't. Uh, I mean, if you're lucky enough to have one, I don't know many people that have these uh, these uh, things. And this is all paid by your money. And uh, this is what the American people are paying for. So I think it's time we start waking up to this, you know, and demand answers as to where the money is going. Because this is ridiculous. And I'd like to know in the government, again, Obama allowed all this to take place. They didn't accumulate this in, in, uh, in a week. They accumulated this over time. So uh, Obama allowed this to happen. He could care less about this country. He wanted to take it down. But uh, the poor immigrants and all this, and then they wind up with uh, private jets and, uh, and Bentleys. Yeah. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.